And we are back. And we were faced by the figure who was presumably responsible for all of these curses and rituals, who declared himself to be the Herald of the Boom. It's Boom with an M. Did I he want to say be clear that? clear because I have a difficult accent. He looks at you, looks around, and is utterly unimpressed. As he oh, says, man. You have all been tested. And you have all failed. We put you in a house of half-bred vermin. And you failed as the others failed before you to exterminate them. The rat in the basement who befouled the magic, the node. I nearly said the magical toilet. The magical who, be- <laughs> who befouled the node that is Le the toilet du magique. Oh, the- wasn't it you who trapped them there? Of course, it was me that trapped them here. Well, if you didn't want the dirt in the basement, why'd you trap it? They there? were here for you to destroy. They were well, here. If you're so powerful, you should have done it yourself. Of course, I could do it myself. As well, you why didn't soon you discover? <laughs> Flossie I know you are, but what am guy. I? Flossie has got this person over her knee. Sorry, if, who who is this? I was expecting. Charlie who are you? Else. Who are you, Doom? I am the Herald of the Boom. Oh, what no, the hell boom. does that mean? The Brotherhood of Old Magicians. You hold a magicians. mic on a boom, like a boom mic, like what? What? what Herald of what boom? Shut no, up! Say, Someone say, stop this little girl from say, talking. Flossie, you're not from here. I think it's a Seahawks thing. I've can got I, a whole bit. I've got a whole speech. Why? Can I conjure a gust of wind to throw his hood back? Just so we can get sure. a look at this character? Sure, yeah. Give me a... Uh... So you can't conjure it because you don't yeah, have Yeah, can I transmit you can, the You can alter the wind that exists right in the room already. Yeah. Or yeah. even the sound that he's saying and blow his hood back. So yeah, yeah. just give me a... I'm going to call this an oh shit. Mm-hmm. There's going to be another hood. So you just know try it. Give me an arete Second roll. Hood. Okay. Plus... Uh, a ret roll at a difficulty of two. See that double And this hood. is a range, so you're going to want to use one uh, Paradox dice. He's going to have one of those, like, things you wear under a suit of armor, like the black, like the thing Balaclava. that... Balaclava. Yeah. 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 With an endless supply of sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> um, I got a brutal crit on my Paradox day. Okay. Uh, that is not too bad. You're going to get an extra point of Paradox, but you do, like, you simply, like, gesture, and his hood is blown back. And you see just a sad little man. Uh, What? Pulls his hood back up. How dare you treat me with such impertinence? I will enjoy. I'm not impressed. He looks like a thumb. (laughs) I do not look like a thumb. I am the Herald of Boom. Do you think we care? Show me the appropriate respect. I don't, uh, listen, there, I think there's a lot of confusion. I think that we got off on the wrong foot. We are, you know, obviously, correct me if I'm wrong. We are incredibly powerful wizards and you are a dork. Is that, do I have it? You seem like a dork. I, you see, I don't, I think that you have this many followers. What is this dork? What is this? Slang? This is the dork. This, this is what is wrong with magic today. <laughs> Young people Yuck. have no respect for their elders. This is precisely what the Brotherhood of Older Magicians was put together to fight. Brotherhood is very exclusionary, so, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get this straight. Oh, but of course. Let me we get this must straight, all though. be very inclusive. Yeah, it's the brotherhood of older magicians. You used to live here, right? And you trapped all these things here, but then you let a vampire move in. Oh yes, you said vampire, Steve. So you're just yet another foul creature that you failed to exterminate. I think you failed to exterminate, actually. This is not a test for me, young lady. It is a test for you. It is a Mm. test to see if you are worthy. You're testing me, all right. I don't know what that means. Is that slang again? I take a hit off my bait pen. As a side note. (laughs) um, I'm not a dog. Just as a sideboard. Just, well, that's, uh, agree to disagree. Um, It was 
the Sons of Ether. Now it's the Society of Ether. It's just the something Sons to consider. Something to consider. Just something to consider. It's the Society of it's Ether. I show my card. It's gone mad is what it is. They changed all this stuff. Regardless, you are no better than a technocrat yourself. You are never, ever going to be included in the boom. I don't... But the rest <laughs> of you had an opportunity to come in here and stop <laughs> laughing at the name of my organization. <laughs> this is very serious. Oh no, Francesca, whatever will boom. you do? Boom. Um, okay. You should make him go boom with your little your, your yeah. little glove thing there. The sun oh, pressure. Yes. Do try. See what your little magics can do. Francesca. Do it. Okay. <laughs> Palpatine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Go. yeah. I, I, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna change the material of his robe to be completely transparent. <laughs> I could annihilate him. But I think that this will actually be <laughs> long lasting. This will annihilate him in different ways. Um, I think that this is mm -hmm. a basic transmutation. I agree. <laughs> Uh, he's going to do counter magic, and he should. He's he's he should. Uh, no doubt the representative I mean, is of the it... Legion of Boom, <laughs> yeah. right? But <clears throat> he's the Herald of Boom. Does uh, he have I... the Boom Boom Pal? But is he, he checking is, our style? Uh, he's going to do counter magic. But honestly, I hope he doesn't succeed. <laughs> yeah, me, me too. Same. Uh, so let's uh, let's roll it. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a resisted roll. Uh, are you going to use your technology or your occult for this? Uh, I'm going to absolutely. I'm just going to change the. I'm going to, I'm going to change the molecular vibration of the material itself. I'm just going to alter it slightly. So You'd I'm going to be surprised how little it takes. Include your paradox dice mm -hmm. and an extra dice for the range. Mm -hmm. And otherwise, you don't need to do much to to do this. That's that's all you'll need. So six so, six dice. Yeah, yeah, six dice. Three of them paradox dice. Mm -hmm. Can do. Trying, you're trying to beat four successes. Okay, I'm going to dump my quintessence into it just because I think it'd be really fun okay, to shame so this you're, person. Do it. You're trying to beat three successes. Come on. You know what I need? What if I tie him? Uh, then the acting mage. Succeeds. Willpower. Oh wait, no. If now, if I go to the actor, if, if the acting mage succeeds, then then we Gucci. So, so. you shoot a beam <laughs> of cloth removal. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's at this creature, uh, and exactly you turn right, his robes transparent, and you can see the sad. He <laughs> waves his hand as if to merely dismiss it, but it doesn't quite take. And you see his sad, wrinkly Mister Burns body in all of its full glory standing before you and he is humiliated and he says enough of this you ain't got much of a boom there <laughs> this pageantry just saying this isn't even my true form oh really okay. <laughs> oh, wow he's going for every villain <laughs> he's got he's got one era to call is it from. over nine thousand yet and and then, then, we're getting into dragon ball territory <laughs> and then he triggers his spell. Oh, oh shit. no. And then, and then he just says the word Goku. <laughs> what did it say? Goku. <laughs> oh, none of this insolence. Vegeta was by far the superior fighter. Goku never actually defeated Vegeta. In a, in a Sid of the Piccolo. <laughs> no, he activates his spell. And there is a blinding white light. Oh, this must be and the then bone. you are in what you perhaps recognize from books as the Umbra. It's Narnia. And the Herald mm. of Boom is transforming before your very eyes into a ter what is frankly a terrifying creature. A gigantic, maybe 20 foot tall, 10 ton dog with two heads lashing oh. out at you. 
with its sharpened tongue. And you hear, though the dog can't speak, it's a dog in your minds. Fear the true form of the Herald of Boom. Know now what happened to your predecessors and what will happen to you. You will die here in the Umbra with no one to save you. The Umbra, this is like some werewolf shit, right? Do I have any? It's, do I have my backpack with me? Yeah, you have uh, whatever you are holding when you. This is uh, like uh, serious, but he's such a. <laughs> he's, he's a total. A he's a ball. total knob. <laughs> I hope this means I'm doing a good job. What a knob! <laughs> like we're gonna dive. <laughs> gonna <laughs> laugh. But, but he just sucks. <laughs> yeah. He just <laughs> sucks ass. As he prowls back and forth, he's like. Were you taking me seriously now? Can I rewind time to before he did that? Uh, you can try, but he's again, he's going to try and stop you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And um, you're four I'm just deep. trying to, yeah, I'm just trying to think of ways to humiliate him again. <laughs> well, he's, <laughs> he is now in his, uh, in his true form. Yeah. I would, uh, my advice to you as a storyteller would be to ready for battle, for that yes. is indeed what faces you. I do. I do so. Yeah. I prepare myself. Do I still have my cult? Uh, no, oh, your cult yeah. were left behind. Only, <sighs> uh, only humans. I was going to have them do a majors. stirring 80s battle theme for us. <laughs> no, they don't know what the fuck happened. As far as they're concerned, some weird naked guy just <laughs> showed up. <laughs> well, no. It, and then you all disappeared. College, you know, yeah. but, but by, the, by the same token, uh, Jasmine, I mean, my, my suspicion is that if I were the boss, I would not transform your retinue. I would not bring your retinue into the no. final battle if I could. Yeah. Yeah. I if get there it. was any possible advantage that could be gained. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. I prepare for battle. Yeah, he yeah, has a high uh, intelligence score. Down. He doesn't have a particularly high charisma score. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell him down. <laughs> that that was sure. his dumb stat. Intelligence is, is really quite good. Um. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, really so let's battle. let's get some actions. You can see that uh, this uh, this creature appears ready to strike. You're kind of fanned out a little bit in front of him. Mm -hmm. uh, left to right, it's Hugo, Francesca, Jasmine, and Tap. Sorry, Flossie. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. It's terrible etiquette there. <laughs> uh, and he appears ready to attack at the one who humiliated him, Francesca Void. Oh. <laughs> He's going to snap at you with his snappy jaws. Oh no! I'm ready. So, how whatever what, how would everyone like to respond to this? Uh, the way that combat works in Mage is the same way that it works in Vampire, because that's what I based it on, where everyone will announce their intentions at the same time, mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> then everything happens at once. I'm going to try to make the two dog heads fight. Oh, really? I'm going to try uh, to make one dog head think the other dog head is a chunk of meat. Okay, so what is that? Let's take a look. That's uh, that's definitely a mind two. Do you have mind two? Yes. Yeah, so that's a mind two effect, I would say. And uh, uh, yeah, you're gonna and you're gonna presumably do some chanting. You want to juice this as much as possible. Yes. You have two quintessence left. You can, of course, channel some of that into your uh, spell. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, and uh, Flossy Cryer, what would you like to do? When I can alter myself, can I make myself like into something that can fight this big dog? You could. Yeah. Uh, so you can't do like the kind of complete transformation of your body, but you could grow claws. You could grow armor. You could grow some kind of natural weapon. You can't fully metamorphosize as right. this chap has. I'll do the armor since I'm okay. I can heal people, so maybe I so should protect I'm myself. Call that a uh, so the thing you're going to want to do to there. What that's going to do is going to allow you to turn aggravated damage into uh, superficial damage. Yeah, cool. We want that. Uh, and what you want to get ready for that is uh, if you want that to last for the rest of the scene, you're going to want to use three uh, paradox dice. Uh, so how much paradox? Whatever you have. Uh, so you. So have I have four. Yeah. Already. And what do I roll so, to do? So that? You're going to be rolling your street rise and a ret, but just hold okay. on to that for now. Yeah. You go Perez. Do you have a plan in place? Uh, I'm going to uh, go entropy and uh, 
uh, attempt to control probability uh, mm -hmm. to make sure or uh, to to affect uh, the creature's attacks to okay. to to miss. Okay, so you want to mm -hmm. give it the opposite of a, you want to give it disadvantage. Yeah, disadvantage. Okay, so uh, that is going to be a uh, that's a sphere two effect, I believe. So go uh, ahead and actually, it's it's sphere three if sphere three, you if I want me. more finite control of that. Okay, great. Uh, so give me a, that's going to be your insight plus your uh, arrest. Okay. Um, so go ahead and get that ready because that's at range. You will be including a paradox dice. Um, and uh, yeah, and that's it. Because otherwise, it's just an on-off effect. How much? How many paradox dice am I supposed to have in addition to the four? So you have four right now. You're gonna. This is all gonna be paradox dice, I think. Okay. I just want to uh, make because sure. you want it. Yeah, you want it to last for the rest of the scene. The good yeah. news is that because you're in the umbra, nothing is vulgar. Right. Yeah. But the paradox still has to be contended with to some degree. Right. And Francesca Void, do you have an action you would like to take? I'm trying to figure out exactly what the thresholds, like what the edge of what I can pull off with complex transmutation is. It's difficult to do a complex transmutation to a living being because you don't have life magic. Oh, okay. So if, if it's not raw matter. Yeah. But, you know, like, he's standing on something. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. But it sounds like Kiko actually has that in lock. Kiko mm -hmm. is trying to minimize the effect of this thing. So, Kiko, the effect that your spell is going to have is that he can no longer crit. Okay. Uh, okay. He, he no, won't, simply won't have critical threat anymore. Or, you know what, like I'll say it's going to take him, he's going to need four zeros to get a crit. So it's halved. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is uh, to transmute the forces. I'm going to transmute minor forces. Okay. Basically, I, I want to flood this thing, this massive uh, canine beast with electricity. Oh, lovely. Just yeah. dealing damage, ravaging its ability to, um, to enact its intentions. Absolutely. So that's going to be, uh, you have one permanent paradox. You're going to want to add another one for range and tell me how much damage you want to do. Uh, as much as possible. So, um, so there's two paradox dice, in the pool. Yeah, and then as many others as you want to add for damage. Okay, uh, up, but, to you, up to a total of, you could yeah. add uh, five. I, mean, I think this the is, whole pool to be powered I, th I, think, I, think I think this is what we want to do. So six dice, okay. is that right? Uh, yeah, six. it's a seven dice, and they're all paradox dice. Okay, yeah. I'm assuming this is a use of technology rather Oh, yeah, than no, this is going to be nuts. And so, like, yeah. out of the backpack to, like, almost, like, insectoid limbs like reach up and then back like to um, in the same way that like a piece of construction equipment would lay out the supports. So mm -hmm. these two arms come out and then plant themselves behind me just to hold back the force from it. So I have, I have okay. So everyone roll yep. your deces and tell me whether there is. And I'm going to tell you that uh, he is going Very to attempt to attack. Uh, Very dangerous dog. Francesca Void. Or, uh, uh, what was sense. my dice pool? Your dice pool is a cult plus a rat. Oh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hugo has three successes. Okay. Plus he has four. I have two crits, but that means something, right? Yeah, two crits means that you got four successes, okay. uh, which means you have easily uh, hit him. Yeah, so but of course they're, they're paradox, and so that has its own problems. Yes. So, uh, yeah. So you got two. You said mm -hmm. so that's going to add. Uh, that's yeah. That's a paradox crit. So the bad news is that is that you start to lose control of the lightning. I believe it. Uh, your paradox discharges, but it discharges in your face, <laughs> uh, and uh, you take one superficial damage because you weren't kind of really important. you weren't yeah. really that high. Like you, uh, your paradox wasn't too high. Well, and uh, also I did have my support. Uh, pylons. You absolutely so, did. Right. Uh, and I'm going to tell you, you do five superficial damage to this creature. It it roars in pain, but it doesn't seem to be completely cowed. Now, tell me, Hugo, what did what result did you get? Uh, three successes. You got three successes. Mm -hmm. So this creature can no longer crit. Yep. 
Marjorie? I got four. You got four successes. Remind me of the effect you were creating. I was trying to get the two heads to fight. Okay, so oh, four wow. successes. He needs to roll against you actually for that. He's you're gonna that's gonna be the counter magic that he cast for the mm -hmm. turn. So you got three successes? Four. Four successes. And I'm willing to expend the willpower to make this happen if I need to. <laughs> I'm prepared to spend as many as one willpower. I'm mm. afraid his counter magic succeeds. No. And the, by, the, by what margin? By one. Couldn't I use my quintessence? You could if you wanted to, yeah. Can I use my quintessence? Oh yeah, on this yeah. Go ahead, use your quintessence. Okay. Uh, and then the acting, <laughs> the acting maid wins, and uh, his for his second turn because he gets he got two heads, he gets two turns. One mm -hmm. of his heads is going to attack one of his other heads. Yes. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> yeah. It's his uh, own fault though. Okay. It is. So I'm going to roll that for him two right now. Two heads are not better than one. Mm -mm. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and he does five damage to himself. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh Jesus! How long? Well, how long will that last? How long will he hate yourself? Three. Four, I think that's it. It's one five. bite. It's, that's going to be it. But it's and it's not going to work again. <laughs> yeah, I have to do. I have to be more creative next time. Yeah. Uh. So yeah, his uh his head bites at himself. Uh. Unfortunately, he also rolled against you, Francesca, and uh, you take. Uh, three aggravated damage from his attacks. Who? What? I, I, I <laughs> what? Because you are a you are a puny human, mm -hmm. and you take yeah. aggravated damage from anything that is stabby or oh yeah or anything like that. So his 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 claws claws tear he into bites. your skin, and you take a lashing from his kind of sharp forked tongue of this creature, and you take three aggravated damage. Man, which is you know most of it. It's not ideal, uh, oh. but luckily he throws you clear. He kind of oh, he chew, he bite. Okay, mm -hmm. he throws you away, uh, and indeed he throws you off the side of the arena, <gasps> where you fall endlessly to your doom. What? Until you feel claws of a different kind picking you up by your lab coat. Claws. And Ricky the Maelstrom Kavanaugh says, It's okay, I got you. <laughs> I don't fight good, but I sure can fly. I'll take it. And uh, as you look up at this kind of rather awkward looking bird creature, uh, he drops you back onto the arena and mm. says, Okay, let's see how Ricky the Maelstrom Kavanaugh dies. You just got Mario carded. Like yeah. you yeah. fell off the rainbow road. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I got tanukied or whatever mm -hmm. the, the key dude. The key dude, yeah. Okay. So for his next turn, you see, like enraged at the fact that uh that this creature has saved uh Francesca Void, he goes to finish the job and prepares you can see him turn around because Francesca is now behind him and prepare to leap across the battlefield he's so mad please, please give me your action can i heal francesca you can heal francesca yeah you can do that uh you can uh you will have to expend a paradox die for each point of damage that you want to heal okay and you'll have to spend one to uh do it at a range okay i'll and heal you'll have to get high I was going to say, and you're going to have to buy me a peanut yeah. buster parfait. You're also going to have to figure out a way in your focus that that kind of makes sense. Okay. Uh, well, I did take a hit off my bait pen before mm -hmm. when you he did. Was so you're smack. ready for this. Um, uh, so yeah, you can absolutely uh, you can heal Francesca. So think about what dice pool you want to do for that. How much paradox you want to expend? It's going to be uh, it's going to be your streetwise and a ret again. Okay. Uh, Hugo Perez, what would you like to do? Uh, is there any sense as to like how is it limping? Is it does it look any worse off than it was when we, when we started? Uh, so it's got some nasty gashes in its uh, in its yeah. arm that was the most of the damage was done by the other head from its own tooth, uh, and it's also looking like quite badly burned. But it isn't at the moment limping or looking like serious damage has been done to it. You could, if you wanted to, use Sense Life to essentially find out how much health it has left. 
Let's try that. I think information is what's needed here. Okay, great. So that is going to be a roll again of insight plus a ret. Uh, and you're going to include an extra paradox die because you're doing this at a range. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Uh, so uh, Marjorie McAllister, what would you like to do? I'm going to pull out my gun. <laughs> <laughs> And shoot it. Yeah. I have firearms three. Yeah. Okay. I forgot I had a gun too. This so is an old hand cannon, by the way. Yeah. Just and shoot this guy. Yeah. I'm going to, you see me like, okay, so can I use my, oh, this might be kind of crazy. So I'm going to like line it up on my arm and I want to shoot it. But as the bullet comes out, I want to turn that like kinetic energy into just like fire. Like an imbue it with arcane powers using my force, using my sure. force ability. You want to make a fire bullet? Fucking yeah. real. Flaming yeah. bullets, yeah. So give me, uh, you're going to give me an occult uh, okay. plus a ret. Okay. Uh, and we'll come back to you in a minute. You'll decide how much of your, that's this is going to be, because you're touching the gun, this actually isn't at range. Mm -hmm. um, but you're going to have to decide how much damage you want to try and do with this effect. Okay. How much extra damage on top of the gunshot. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then after that, after you've done that roll to see if the magic succeeds, you're going to roll composure plus firearms to try. And okay, cool. Uh, uh, Francesca Void, you mm -hmm. are beaten, but still in the fight. Standing next to Ricky the Maelstrom Kavanaugh, facing so, down this creature that is about to try and leap at you. Exactly. So if he's just trying to leap at me, it seems to me like the the best case scenario for me is just to substantially increase gravity such that uh, leaping is not uh, really an effective mode of attack. Just mm -hmm. eat up all that pounce and just drop him hard on, okay. the, on the ground. So you want to try and stop the, stop the pounce stop by the leap. Uh, changing gravity in that local area to be much, much... Uh, much heavier so that he heavier. can't even get here. Okay. So what you're going to roll easier. that... Would it be Sorry. easier to just affect gravity on yourself to dodge rather than trying to affect gravity on this huge creature? Fly, you fool! <laughs> yeah, I guess that's you easy. can fl you could fly if you wanted to. Yeah. No, I mean that that that's easier to do on myself, right? Yeah, I would. Because you're in touch range. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So <laughs> exa exactly right. I'm just gonna not. I'm not gonna be where he's trying to go. Okay, so I'm gonna call this a. Uh, uh, this is gonna be a dexterity and athletics roll. Mm -hmm. um, and you're going to, uh, if you should you succeed, you're going to just fly out of his range. Dexterity athletics go is the worst. Okay. <laughs> you're still kind of doing a jump and trying to dodge. Yeah, you're just doing it fucking super magically. Otherwise, you wouldn't normally be able to get out of the way. Of well, this, so, so, so I have, but I mean, is can I put use magic as one of the skills yeah. in this? Like absolutely. So dexterity let's, plus a ret type thing or yeah, actually, let's call I don't it have, that. Let's I don't say, have athletics. Because I think that's fun. Issue. Let's do dexterity plus a ret mm -hmm. uh, and, and attempt to do a super jump or some kind of anti-gravity thing. Yeah. I'm imagining you're kind of doing like a rocket jump with the manipular frame. Well, no, no, it, the same legs that are, that provide the, the support framework, mm -hmm. I think those just like push me up like a spring. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So It's uh, like Doc Ock type shit. Do your super jump. Mm-hmm. I love it. Uh, and that is, yeah, that's going to be dexterity plus a ret. So we've gotten everyone. Flossie, you're healing. Yeah. Marjorie, you're shooting guns. Kiko, you are trying to figure out how much health this guy has. And uh, Francesca, you're doing a super jump. So he yeah. is going to try and with his first attack, he's going to be doing this leap. He uh, and he's going to be doing counter magic against uh, Marjorie. Okay. Actually, no, I think he's going to do counter magic against. Um... He's not going to do counter Francesca? magic. Francesca? He's, well, uh, he's he not going to do wants to bite. Yeah. yeah. He's just, uh, he's incensed. So yeah. he's going to try and uh, roll to, uh, to leap across and bite uh, Francesca. In and with the air. second attack, he's going to try and bite Ricky the Mel from Kavanaugh. <sighs> Ugh. Right. Okay. Let's get it. Everyone, and if I wanted roll? to try to heal three of the damage, I would add the three You're paradox. Adding, yeah, three paradox. Okay. The roll. Okay. Two, three. 
I got three successes, no three zeros. Successes. Okay, and that was on a uh, that was on a three roll, so you got that. Uh, you are able to heal three damage from Francesca Void. Uh, I'm going to say you heal the superficial damage first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's fair. And then the aggravated yeah. damage. So you still okay. have one aggravated damage, Francesca, but you're now like, you're not going to limp anymore. You're feeling no. a lot better. Now it's a you're cool in the scar. Fight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you would still like, if this was a regular fight, you'd probably be like, oh, that is enough for me. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, I am, I am quite done, good sir. But uh, that isn't the situation you find yourself in. Uh, okay. Kiko, how did you do? Three successes. Three successes. Uh, so you are able to tell that in game terms, he has 15 health. And uh, 10 of it is okay. done with superficial damage, after which it will become aggravated. Okay. Uh, and uh, now we go to Marjorie McAllister. How did your fucking cool gun trick go? Five. You got five Jeez. successes. Boom. Okay. That's, That's a boom. Of doom. Uh, so that was enough to hit him. And how much did you, how many paradox dice did you add to the roll? I thought that was to wait, wait. So I, I so thought I roll to... for the magic and then roll. Oh for yeah. The so the so the magic goes shot. off. How much damage did you want to add to the to the effect? Um, I was going for four. Okay, so you're gonna do try and do four damage. Now mm -hmm. just roll me quickly your composure plus firearms, which is okay. just six dice. Okay. So do I add the paradox to this one? No, this is just a regular okay. roll. This is just to see if you hit and how much damage the gun itself does. I have six for this. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. And he's too big. Like, he can't really dodge. One, two, three, four. Okay. So uh, you do a total of nine damage. <laughs> nice. Jesus Christ. This, uh, this, you, I'm going to say that you, uh, you empty about a third of the clip. Uh, and all of these are kind of imbued with flame and extra kinetic energy, and they they do a fucking lot. So what did I say? Nine damage. You mm -hmm. said nine. I said nine. I'm That's regretting it already. Two, yeah, I didn't think I was up. gonna do that Four, much. Five, uh, and then this is six, seven, eight, nine. So these these just rattle into his flesh, mm -hmm. uh, and he you start to see him like rear back, but then he prepares his leap. So tell me, Francesca Void, how many did you? How much did you roll to dodge this using no, your magic? One, one crit is nothing, right? Yeah, one crit is just yeah. uh, is then, just a. Then a it's dodge. just three. There's three, so I am afraid that I too am he, afraid he catches you, <laughs> he catches you out of the air uh, on the just wing. by your ankle because he mm. got four successes. God, that throws you to the ground. I hope it's my robo ankle. Uh, and you take from that, you're just going to take two superficial damage because you're taking damage from the impact onto the ground. <sighs> and then with his with his second head. Oh, no. He chomp. He chomp. He bite. He bite. He chomps on. He successfully hits Ricky the Maelstrom Kavanaugh and grabs no. him in his jaws. No. And again, grabs, bites throws him to the ground and Ricky lies still. It's a good round for this dog. Well, Except for the nine damage, I guess. And then he turns around. Yeah, the nine damage was a bit of a pisser. <laughs> um, <laughs> and as he turns to leap again, he prepares himself. He's going to leap right straight back to the party and finish the job on another member of you. You hear no leapings. <laughs> Stay on the ground and fight. And you see a hideous, gigantic black rat. creature rat, rat. just start going ham on this guy. No leaping with two shivs. It's just a no leap zone. Absolutely taking him out. And he goes, rat, 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 rat. Ah! <laughs> How did he even get here? Yeah, that's He's a fine. creature of spirit. Oh, no, where creatures and the where creatures can are... just go that's and run out. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rat Rat is late. Rat Rat apologizes. It's fine, Rat Rat. No more leapings. I I I, I wave weakly from the ground <laughs> in an ameliorative way. 
And then we return to uh, another round. So uh, this guy is beaten, but he's still up and he's still within, he's now within simple biting range of Francesca Void, but not within much biting range of the rest of you. Hmm. So Can I take out his Achilles tendon with my life? His Magic. Achilles tendon is already pretty fucked, but you can certainly do direct <laughs> damage with your life. I wanna, yeah, I wanted to do something to him to keep him from not being able to move quickly or absolutely so or his, uh he's already uh he's not taking a lot of damage from rat rat but he's uh he's finding it very difficult to move with this creature on him it's distracting him pretty heavily okay um so yeah you can absolutely you can use your life magic to do direct damage you merely have to decide how much damage you want to do okay so and it would be the streetwise and a cult again streetwise uh it would be uh streetwise and a rat yeah a rat i'm sorry yeah i don't know why i said a cult uh, Hugo Perez, Edgy. what would you like to do? Uh, Hugo uh, sees that it's time and uh, he reaches um, under his under his sleeve and pulls out uh, like Boz Lerman, Romeo and Juliet style <laughs> perfect pistol. Nice. The sword. Like, gold inlaid. Yeah. Uh, totally garish. Game plate. Mm -hmm. I um, love it. And uh, with the the crucifix in one hand, uh, <laughs> uh, lifts the gun, aims, and uh, does the sign of the cross with the crucifix in his hand. Mm -hmm. uh, but he sort of sheepishly, sheepishly, uh, sort of embarrassed, uh, says the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria, and kisses the <laughs> <laughs> crucifix. He's sort of okay. coming at it sideways. <laughs> And is he just just mundane, like just uh, going for the aim and using entropy to, to hit the right spot? To hit the right spot. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm going to say that you're going to use. Uh, yeah, I'm Constantine you, over here. <laughs> so if you if you use entropy, you can use uh, uh, you can add however much damage you want to to the roll provided you hit. So this is uh, manipul You're manipulating the. Uh, you're controlling probability. Uh, so go ahead and give me that roll. That's going to be your insight plus your uh, arrest. Uh, and how that. much? Uh, how many paradox dice do you want to devote to hitting exactly the right spot? How, what's my max? Uh, the so total I got six. amount that you did in this. I can uh, flip it, flip them all to paradox. You could, yeah. You yeah. could, uh, you could add six dice. Patrick will let you do this. I'm going. Yeah. I'm going for it. Okay, so you're going to add six dice. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so get that roll ready, and then you're going to roll uh, composure plus firearms. Okay. Um, and this is um, so the the first the, the to use the magic. I I'm, it's just six or six paradox. Uh, yeah, Perfect. six paradox dice. Okay. Uh, who wants to go next? I can I use my mind magic to make it look like Francesca is dead since she is the one in striking range Just hide to it. this creature. Yeah. Very to, like, interesting. Like create like an illusion that yeah, for sure. she's dead. Uh, I so there's no reason to attack her again. She's yeah, a goner. Let's, let's take a look at this. So Rita, you're creating an impression. Yes. Uh, yeah, you can creating absolutely a thought in his mind inception style that she's done for go for someone else. So that is uh, you're creating the impression for him that he should attack someone else. Mm -hmm. Yes, that uh, Francesca's absolutely. no longer a threat. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, absolutely. That's going to be your occult plus your arrest. Uh, he's probably going to use counter magic against you. Okay. Uh, and Francesca Void, how would you respond? Hmm. I'm trying to think about this stuff but my really good stuff in matter is nice um but it's not matter it's a, some kind of beast dog wizard <laughs> you know what i mean like yeah. like you do so mm -hmm. um i think that um i think that this thing is probably getting ragged now yeah it's not looking it's not looking great right and i think that where it has you know where it has been damaged by these mystically charged bullets by its you know its nervous system being racked by these by this voltage mm -hmm. what i want to do with 
um, what I want to do with, let's see, what, what is the right combination of spheres? I can sense flaws, but I can't, I can't emphasize them. I only no. have one point of entropy. Um, but can I, here's where we go. I want to, I want to combine transmute minor forces and telekinetics mm -hmm. um, and entropy basically just to make the damage that it has much, much worse. Okay, so you want so to I'm kind gonna of... take these bullets, like these these mystically charged bullets, and I just want to. I just want like, them. To you want to sort of around. open that wound. I just want them to travel around inside these wounds. You okay? So you're like ping ponging them in there. Yes, like a exactly. twenty two bullet would do. Twisting yeah. okay. dagger. So assuming that uh, Kiko succeeds, you can add some successes depending on how many paradox dice you want to yeah. uh, devote to this. You can add those successes to his role. Okay. I love it. That's what I like. Uh, so I think that's it. Everyone roll. And he is yeah. now going to roll to, he's going to roll counter magic against, uh -oh. uh, uh -oh. against uh, uh, Marjorie. Uh oh, beast man. So my total and dice pool is seven, but if I wanted, I can make them all paradox, yeah. right? To do the Yeah, damage. you could okay. add. So the max you can actually do is, I think think you could do two extra damage for a total of three because okay. you're just kind of riding paradox pretty high at this point yeah do i have a willpower to spend uh you do i shall you don't have a it. ton of it but you do <laughs> she's been putting it to work yeah three four four okay uh oh no oh uh well that got be five crit. one two three four five uh, so he got five successes against you. I got uh, five as well. You got five oh. as well. So he's going to burn a willpower. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, and he's going to reroll. I'm going to reroll the ones that didn't succeed. Classic. That's my strategy. Mm -hmm. uh, I can actually only reroll two. Uh, and he got another success. So he got. Uh, he did successfully. I used, used my last quintessence. <laughs> Uh, I think you would need to like. I've been a little bit generous. You should normally announce, <laughs> announce it ahead of time. Ahead of time? Okay, Good gotcha. Yeah. All right. So it yeah. doesn't work. He doesn't think Francesca's yeah. dead. He doesn't think Francesca is dead, and he is now, in fact, going to attempt. But to he has wasted a resource doing that, though. That's going true. To, yeah, he can't. He's now counter... going to try and eat Francesca. Uh, one, two. Uh, and he has eight dice to eat you with. Oh no! But, I don't, but what if I don't want that? <laughs> Yes, yes, that's quite good. <laughs> um, uh, Hugo Perez, how did your effect go? So four effects, uh, four successes on the effect. Okay, so the effect succeeds. Now, uh, and, and, and then I'm also part of that attack, right? Yeah. So now I do the attack attack. Yeah. And that's composure sure and firearms, which is Composure and firearms, dice. yeah. Um, and can I use a quintessence to make that easier uh that isn't a magical effect so you can't. gotcha that's just okay. you choosing guy and now francesca you can do your role as well to see well, i've already done it how much we add um and so two crits is four successes total yep. so four five six seven successes seven nice. successes so that worked fine how many paradox dice did you devote you devoted all of them uh five Okay, so you did. So you were going for five damage. You did get from that. So you had four crits on paradox dice. Yes, that's correct. So you your paradox is is going to get a little bit wacky. Yes, but, I you know I what, what better time? This is the hour. Yeah. All right. So Hugo, how did you do on your firearms roll? I got one crit and two successes. Okay. So one crit and two so successes. Two zeros and two okay. successes. All right. Uh. All right, now I've officially lost the match. So two, <laughs> two crits, one success. So you got five successes on that. Correct. So the margin you needed to get was one, two, three, four. Uh, so you're going to do two damage to him there. And how much did you add, Francesca? Five. I had seven successes. You had, se but how many? And you, uh, you devoted all of your power. Oh yeah, that, yeah, five. Right? Exactly. Okay, right. one, two, three, six, which is good because I'm about to be bitten in half. <laughs> so yeah, you're about to be bitten in half. Uh, this terrifying creature 
is clearly on its last legs and it begins to wail and moan but it, the last thing it wants to do if it is indeed going to fail is to eat francesca void yeah uh, i believe that did mine do anything uh, uh oh yeah that's a good point how many damage were you trying to do you're trying I, to do four damage i did every yeah and i got four successes okay so that succeeded he has a single health point left <laughs> Boom. And you see Francesca Void, you look up, and you probably knew that this was how it was going to end one day. Bitten to you death would indeed in the shadow realm. Be swallowed to death <laughs> in the Umbra by a colossal two-headed well, dog. I got it out of one of those fortune teller machines. Yeah. <laughs> and they're never wrong. And no. as you see this giant head coming down, perhaps you ready yourself by simply closing your eyes. And death comes for Francesca Void. And Mela crushes it within her jaw. That's what I was going to say. Where the heck is this? Yeah, lizard? Where's, where's this Gaia lady? <laughs> where's the lizard that owes us a favor? <laughs> this monstrous creature that you had previously only seen enshrined by sunlight grabs it by the oh. neck, pulls it to the ground, Ugh. and says, in your, you hear it just in your head, whatever you've got, now is the time. <laughs> Blossy takes out her So what do eagle. you want to do? No roll. <laughs> Just tell me, how does this beast die? Just from me? Yeah. Or anyone who wants to contribute some death. Yeah, I'll, I would love to contribute well, some death. Well, here, here, oh, yeah. here. I'll do one of the heads. This is what just do you narrative. Think? You guys won. I go full yeah. fireball. I'm a wizard. <laughs> yeah, do it. <laughs> Flossie takes out her desert eagle and is like, I forgot I had this. <laughs> like she was rumbling around in her bag. She's like, oh, I forgot I had this. I guess I should use it. <laughs> I use this. You go. Yeah. Uh, Hugo just takes a second shot. <laughs> yeah, keep going. Mm -hmm. And uh, the still quite alive Francesca Void. So the way this is, I see that like the the jaws come down, mm -hmm. and they're they're like they're over, and they're gonna they're gonna clamp down, and then it's like they can't close all the way, like they close on like a bar of force, mm -hmm. and then the light just makes the jaws go the wrong way. Oh, absolutely! And this creature's head snaps. <laughs> just backwards. it goes the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> And Doesn't then the other three way. of us just empty our clips into its corpse. <laughs> the <other laughs> clips into it. All, all, all three like, of us are just like, body. No, you just it with an feels umbrella. good to be a gangster. Like, all of us just empty our clips <laughs> sideways blam, 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 from its blam. body. Well, actually, with Flossie, it'd be more like, blam, wait. Yeah, Flossie <laughs> fires the gun, falls down, stands up, fires <laughs> the gun again. again. Almost Fold falls down, off the stage. Stands up. I I'm just imagining this thing's head split into and all of three of us stand over it. Yeah. <laughs> Blasting it. around in there. Find something you like. And Marjorie, you prepare your fireball. And what badass thing do you say as you incinerate this creature? I, I say back to the void, you foul beast, and set its corpse aflame. And back to the void, the herald of the boom goes. That and was a hell of a boom. It worked. So he was right. Spell. And you are back in the sunroom of what you've come to know as the animal house. <laughs> and the corpse of a sad old man lies in front of you. His robe still, still transparent. Naked. <laughs> as does... Yeah, still completely nude. Absolutely 100% Billy Wow. Ballard. Wow. <laughs> and uh, as does Mela back in her human form, as does Rat Rat back in his, and as does the body of Ricky the Maelstrom Kavanaugh. Oh. Can I bring it back to life? You can, can go and check him to see if he's still living. <laughs> I go check to see if he's still living. <laughs> he's still breathing he's ragged air, he's but he's, he's, ex he's can pretty I badly heal? hurt. Can you I can, heal him? You can give it a go, yeah. Yeah, I'll do yeah, that. It's going to be your rat plus your streetwise. And tell me how much of uh, Rick, how how much you want to juice this one? All of it, however much All I can juice. Yeah. So you're gonna you're gonna try and uh, heal three damage. Yeah. Before before uh, Flossie starts, uh, Hugo walks up and just sort of puts uh, a 
a hand on Flossie's, Flossie's shoulder and, and says, it's his time. Time? It's time for, time for what? What, do, what? What do you mean? It's his, it's his time to rejoin the wheel. Wow. And Ricky says, let him go. It's no, okay, Flossie. It's not so bad. I don't like it. Okay. Fine. And Ricky the mouse <laughs> from Kavanaugh goes to sleep. I ease his passing as he goes. I use my mind With powers. I use my fireball. <laughs> you, can't sleep. you know, <laughs> just, to, just to just to soothe him. I use like my mind, you know, just to just to soothe him in his last okay. moments if he's in pain. And as Ricky passes away, you stand and leave the blackness of the sunroom. And uh, your cult members say to you, well, I think that went pretty well, all things considered. I mean, that's the biggest one we've done so far, I think. And then that guy was there, and then he was naked. And then you all, I don't know what happened, but he's fucked now, eh? It's a party atmosphere. I think this is a really good cult, Miss McAllister. <laughs> Thank it's a you. venue. Yeah. It was a house show. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and as you as you look and the sun is rising, because this took a fucking this took a long time, <laughs> this ritual. This was some big shit. And as the sun begins to rise, the frat boys have once again prepared breakfast for you. And you go to eat to break your fast and a new day uh, a new dawn rises in the ballad chantry in your chantry in the animal house is it the credits? that's the credits Oh, well, hey. Hey. nice work man animal house chantry fucking do it hubris 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 so now I, we really have to, we have to nominate the Magic versus Patrick. That's right, mm. MVP. Yeah, and I feel like I'm afraid I'm going to have to give it once again to Marjorie McAllister. Mm -hmm. mm. What did I do this time? She works hard. Whose exceptional role nearly killed my fucking boss. <laughs> yeah, the nine. Oh yeah, that was pretty sweet. Sweet. <laughs> You were very generous in how many die you gave me on that. Yeah, you did very well, but I'm going to say that that nearly that nearly fucked that guy up uh, a little bit too soon, and then I would have had to come up with more fucking funny shit for the rap boys. They say no, I no, gave no. up. I, I like I got to give it to to Tabitha for hmm. the school grade uh, uh, insults yeah. to completely fluster the big bag. <laughs> actually, yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe let's be clear. She actually defeated the boss long. Yes. Oh yeah, he was done. Like. Thank you. I actually, Thank you guys you. can't see, but I was just ticking off his willpower damage. Yeah. That's why he wasn't using willpower in the fight. Every time one of those like cusses came through, that was okay. One of those is gone. That's it. But they, like, I feel like the transparent robes probably did some aggravated yeah, willpower. That didn't help. <laughs> yeah. you know just what? no beat. Just goes in with the. <laughs> Just yeah. like a little girl insulting an old man. And it worked. Yeah. <laughs> like it worked in real life. I've <laughs> never been in a physical fight in real life. I've always used my words. So Yeah, it shows. But yeah. Patrick, Patrick, I'm going to say yeah. that you all get Magic versus Patrick this time. Because <laughs> all of you did some cool shit in that episode. Hubris. All of you did stuff hubris! that I couldn't think of. So yeah, celebrate your hubris. Yeah, But if you ever have to run that content again and someone pulls a Marjorie there at the end with the damage third head third head I mean, exactly. dog. that's it big now, surprise actually, i think you'd be like whoa <laughs> i must ask you francesca void for one last forces role mm -hmm. can you let me know using your forces perception is there any force on twitch.tv as powerful as jasmine that bronze girl bula anyway um oh my gosh i got three crits um, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven successes. Yeah. So it looks like uh, you know we can we can pretty clearly tell that there is wow. there is no force as powerful 
as Jasmine mm-hmm. that bronze gold. I right. love y'all. Thank you for this and game, Patrick. <laughs> since you got those extra crits, perhaps you could also tell me, is Kiko Villasenor the most powerful force of creative direction in the arcade? He's a power projector. Any force for good as powerful in Child's Play Charity as Tabitha Sheehan? No, I don't think so. No. Not, Absolutely not, not. Not that is known to us. Okay. Not that it is known to us. I'll take or it. Yeah. Is known to the physical realm. Mm-hmm. And as for yourself, is there a more powerful force of DM daddy energy available in the world than Jerry you're, Hopkins? You're looking at the apex. I believe so. This but is I what peak the... performance looks like. You may not like it. <laughs> I needed the role to be sure. Mm-hmm. But I believe that all of my suppositions turned out to no, be correct. It's correct. It's correct. That is it for our Mage Chronicle. And it Yay. is indeed it for me. This is my last day at Penny Arcade. And this is the last thing that I did here. If anyone has sent me an email while the show is on, I plan to ignore it. <laughs> it's just, that whole account is gone. Yeah, no matter what happens. Yeah, it's, it's you're all fucked. Thank it's gone you. into the void. Thank and you I for the like... whole, whole game, Patrick. Yeah, yeah thank you very time. much. Thank you good. so much. All these years, I'm going to give some special thanks to oh, Jerry Hawkins for you. letting me pull my bullshit yeah, in his company for so long, <laughs> never figuring out or perhaps no. figuring out and just not saying that I was an imposter. <laughs> and being cool about it. <laughs> and being cool about it. Welcoming an imposter into his very company. Indeed. And I would love to thank all of you for being a part of my game. I, you are all the, the people I most like playing with, and I have had a wonderful time. And I hope we get to play again sometime. Let's now I'm going do. to go before I get weepy. You're making me weepy, goddammit. <laughs> it has to so stop. One last, one last time, let's celebrate our hubris. Hubris! 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 <laughs> 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 <laughs>